Alright, who's ready to fly? Yeah! see it anymore something like that you hit the return to home button and it uh, flies back to the point it was initialized hmm. what about one of your one of your four quads goes down um, is it is it dead in the water at that point yes um, and that that brings me to another point um, seeing as this is just a prototype mm -hmm. I've, I've definitely learned a lot about it um, one thing that I definitely do next time make it a lot bigger mm -hmm. it needs to be a lot bigger with more motors so I think the next step would be moving to a hexacopter, mm -hmm. uh, which would be the six motors. And at that point, that gives you a lot more redundancy. Mm -hmm. If one motor fails, you can still fly it um, a lot easier than on this guy, because if you lose one, you're, you're definitely going down. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you right now from what I've seen that I uh, this is the most weight that I've seen one of these hold right now. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be, uh, that's a pretty interesting aspect of this that I'm very curious about. But um, so even with four four quads being able to withstand, would you say thirteen pounds? Yes, that's pretty yes. good. The, the copter is part of it, mm -hmm. and to have the ground capability of that is another. That and I've been seeing that those put together mm -hmm. and everything. And I've seen going to conferences and stuff. I've seen a lot of different models of both. Yeah, but never together. Right, right. You know, and um, that, that's that's a very interesting concept. And I, I'll tell you this much. Um, it's a very marketable concept. And as far as I can see, for a lot of different functions, having those two together like that, right. I mean, the standoff is huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, as far as your application for bomb stuff or hazmat stuff, or Correct. you know, the fire guys, same thing. Using something like this to be able to do a 360 on the house instead of having to walk it exactly when you initially get there. Exactly. Having a ground unit that you could throw into a door. Yep. Um, and be able to see, okay, where's the fire, where's the bad guy, where's the bomb, where's whatever. Um, right. Having those two capabilities at the same time, I can tell you instances where, where this would have been useful for us in, in calls we've had recently. Mm -hmm. We had a call where we had to take a team and break out a back window on, it was a, uh, a suicidal call, and we had to break out a back window to see if we could find somebody inside of a house because we weren't getting any response. Right. Well, what you have to do to do that is we have cameras on the end of long poles, and our pole is like, I don't know, 20 feet long when you totally extend it. Right. So you have some standoff, yeah. but being able to not have to put anybody on the corner of a house exactly. and be able to fly that around the backside, go up and look into a window mm -hmm. without the person aspect of it, Correct. that's huge. There's been a lot of departments are, are going to something like this for a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. We used one, um, oh, it was probably about six months ago, our traffic unit was using one. And yeah. what they were using it for was to go above crash scenes 
yeah, yeah, yeah. and to take photographs and video of crash scenes so yeah. then from straight up above. Correct. Whereas before what we'd have to do is get a fire truck out there, get the, the, the snorkel <laughs> way in the heck up there, put somebody <laughs> in it and take pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, it, it's a great capability. Right, saves so. the time, saves the money. Right. We find with our robots that we have the biggest issue with is our, and it sounds like you've ran into the same problem, which is the ability to have that wireless system that can penetrate through walls, right. through right. levels of floor, through co around corners, mm -hmm. um, because of course you, you don't want to be. We always say if you can see if you can see the bomb, the bomb can see you. Yeah. So you'd like to be around a corner, and that's ideal where you're exactly. safe. And then you bring one of these out. And what kind of troubles have you run into with with that system that you're, you're dealing with? So so obviously you know with with the system we're running, we're not going to be able to get uh, a good distance you know through a wall or around a corner. Um, there are systems out there that are a lot better for that. Uh, currently, we're running 5.8 gigahertz for the, the video frequency. Um, you can go to something like a 1.3 uh, gigahertz, I think mm -hmm. it is still. There's um, even HD stuff out now. Yeah, so there, there's tons of different stuff, but I think it's if you go down in the frequency, you get better distance and better penetration. Right. Have you done anything with repeaters? Have you played with the repeaters at all? No. He's he's on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we could do with this thing is insane. Well, just, I mean, this, is, this is a lot of work. I don't know what the right. budget was. We could do right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we definitely we we thought about that. And we had the idea, but um, we just stuck with the simplicity for now. Mm -hmm. um, but that's something that could easily be implemented. <laughs>
Man. Can't go anywhere. Cool. Nice. Fly it back. Fly it back. That's, that's because we've been through and we've seen the different ways to make our, our lives sure, easier. Sure, yeah. What were you thinking? I mean, I think our initial thought was, you know, maybe the bomb squad or the SWAT, I think, initially. But, um, I mean, think about it now. There's, there's tons of other applications like, like the fire and that sort of thing. Um, you know, say there's a situation, you know, in a, in a compound or something with a it's gated off or fenced off, um, possibly bomb or, or enemies in there or whatever. So take it over, drop it off with the, with the car be the one to get killed if anything or the quad um, and then you know save save lives obviously so you were kind of thinking like the gated the gated aspect of it i mean I like something that. more more along the lines of it's not as easy to get somebody in there you know yeah yeah i was thinking too is you, you think about the flooding that's going on mm -hmm. you have something like this you can't get to a house exactly you fly that in you exactly. fly it in through an open window and you can search that house mm -hmm. with this thing retrieve yeah. it fly it back out the yep. window and move on. Exactly. You know, exactly. I mean, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. You just go on and on with, with different capabilities. It's and it's and it's got more capabilities than, than a you know an aircraft type one mm -hmm. like right, this because right, right. you, you don't have to you don't have to worry about keeping it moving forward. Definitely. Um, with this, you can with the hover capability and, and the, the copter capability. Mm -hmm. It's just endless. What do you got for battery life? Um, so that is our our biggest downfall right now is, is the battery. We're getting about five, four or five minutes of flight time out of it. Um, the car is going to last, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, but just since it's it's really heavy and we're, we're pulling a lot of power and they're, they're big motors. Budget. Um, <laughs> it's very familiar with that. <laughs> yeah. Very familiar. We're, right now we're only getting about four or five minutes. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, I mean, especially under under what, with what you've done and the parameters that you've mm -hmm. had, that you've done, that's awesome. That's Thank awesome. you. Really Thank you. Good. Appreciate it. Even just with what you have right yeah, there, yeah, absolutely. That in and of itself, you boost. You're able to boost the battery power, mm -hmm. and and maybe put another rotor on there, like you're saying, for a little bit of redundancy. Yeah, yeah. And do a little bit to weatherproof it, if right. you will. Right. And and, and you know, keep and that, it that's, to where that's all stuff that can easily. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It, it's not much to do. That that model right there 